All right. Um, what was this town called again? I forget. But anyway, let's go take a look around. Oh, wait, I came out of that room. Or no, did I climb out of the... I climbed out of the, um, the well there. That's what I did. Oh, wow, this town is just jammed full of NPCs. <clears throat> Such a kid. <laughs> what, are we in an orphanage or something? It's a little frog child. You know, for some reason, it keeps catching me by surprise every time I run across. I uh, it keeps catching me by surprise every time I uh, run across a character that's not human. <laughs> I mean, not actually. Like, to come to think of it, none of the characters in my party are actually human. Do this. <laughs> Little dog child. I mean, as far as I can tell, this character we're talking to, and the majority of the characters you'll run into are actually human. But, like, none of the characters that I'm playing as are human. Chase this catch. Gotta catch this Chino. Oh, it's more or less finding him, it seems like. If he sees you, he runs. So, I'm guessing Nina's flying ability is going to be important here. Look at that. Look at that. The background turned white. I'm guessing why. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, there he is. <laughs> a big... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay. See, look at that. The the environment turns white. Now, I would guess it's a pretty safe bet that the reason why the camera is pointed downwards at such an angle in this, as well as in Breath of Fire 3, was to limit the draw distance of the game. Oh, shit. I could have just stood here and wait for that kid to come. Let's limit the perspective so you're not... It, the game doesn't have to draw such an enormous environment. But, since we're up on a hot platform, I noticed when Nina flies up, the camera points downward even further so it, it... So, it gets, like, still maintains... Oh, okay, here he goes. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so, the environment doesn't, um... Ah, got him. <laughs> so you don't... It, even though the view expands, it doesn't really show that much more um, geometry. But since we were up on that platform looking out, it just happens to be able to view a little bit further away. Because the camera didn't change angles. And instead of drawing it in or fogging it out, it just sort of turned white. It's amazing little tricks that, um, especially in this era, that developers did. Like, look in the Crash Bandicoot. Look in the, some of what they did in the development of Crash Bandicoot. If you want to see some amazing effort that they put in to draw as much performance and as much fidelity out of that machine as they could. Look at Urshan just watching that little frog kid jump, just bobbing the head up and down. <laughs>
Yeah, you kind of let the cat out of the bag there, Nina. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do I have to find all of them? Oh shit, there's like nine of them. And she face planted into the stairs. Jeez. Better check her if she has a concussion. Is it stealing if I grab what's in those treasure chests before I leave? No, nope, no, nope, they made me leave. Yeah, um, I didn't get a good count of how many there were to begin with. Alright, well, let's do this. Okay, so there was a section like this in Breath of Fire 3, but I think there are only, like, four children that you had to find. Looks like there's a few more here. And it, it was mostly just, like, going to an area and then sliding the camera around to get different perspectives so you can see where they are. I wonder if they're all outside or if some of them might be inside. kind of rude for them to go into someone's house. Oh, this one was hiding in plain damn sight. Alright, one. <laughs> so I guess it's a little different here. I mean, in Breath of Fire 3, the camera was mostly locked to a specific perspective. Oh, well, Magnificent Murloc, great was locked to a to a specific perspective and you could pan the camera around but it wasn't like a is that a kid <laughs> you could maneuver the camera around a little bit but you couldn't move the characters when it was like that as soon as you release the buttons it would just sort of drift back drift back to the default position so you'd have to stop the characters and then you'd have to slide the camera around and then once then you could take the look around, and then you'd have to go back to moving. Okay, is this the one I was already in? <laughs> I don't know the layout of this town. Yes, it was. Alright, I'm gonna check all the buildings. That seems like it might be the... It's times like this, I wish I knew my way through the game. Now, this weird, sick chocobo here. Oh, I left. Screw them. <laughs> oh, there's a kid right here. Little asshole. He's he's hiding from all the uh Hiding from every camera angle, you gotta catch him as it pans around. Little <laughs> that's, that's not fair. <laughs> so is one in here? Seems like where one would be then, isn't it? Now this building's locked up. Oh, here's one. Yeah, I already got that one. You're not helping me, kid. <laughs> Tell me where the rest of them are. So what is that, three? Um, maybe I can see them better if Nina's in the air. Hmm. 
Ja. Oh, I think I found one. Oh, no, that's where I already was. <laughs> there's a one of those, a little frog kid. You know, if... <laughs> what? Okay, fuck all that. I wasn't even reading that. I was jumping through the text before I realized he was giving me directions to find another kid. Alright, so... South 6, West 16, North 1, West 3. 6, 16, 1... You know what? Fuck it. I'm still not doing that. <laughs> Especially since steps for a kid would be... It's probably... I think it's just directing you here. <laughs> so I got four kids. I know there are more than four. Now this looks promising. Yep, there's one. <laughs> Not even from the top of the bridge in the center of town. Meaning this right here. Yeah, it's, it's the kid at the entrance. I wish this could rotate the camera while Nina's in the air. I kind of have to land her. And then... And then I can rotate the camera. Oh, there's a kid. Oh, that's not a kid. That was an adult. <laughs> well, let's head back to... Oh, that was a chunk of shit. Why'd that have to be there? I don't know, have I? <laughs> How many kids are there? Is this kid on the roof? Kid get a day job? Hmm. What's up with this? Looks like it's a road, but they blocked it off. Why not? Yeah, but I'm... S Look at that. The angle that the stairs go down, it just sort of... ends at the side of the... building there. It doesn't make any sense. Got some creep-ass motherfucker down there. Yeah. Yeah, that's not suspicious or anything. You have someone smoking dope? They really make these villages in this game really dense. And by that I mean, like, there it's a lot of narrow corridors requiring you to shift the camera around a lot. Can't say I much appreciate that. And in three, they didn't do that. I mean, I mean, mostly because you couldn't really move the camera like this. But I mean, it wasn't necessary. Oh wait, that was how we got here, wasn't it? You know, I feel like I missed something down here. There's probably some big secret that I'm never gonna discover because I'm not gonna go wandering through here. the orphanage, isn't it? Was there only one building I could go inside of? 
I mean, everything's busted up, so I guess it's all damage from the war that's been going on. Everywhere we go, we run into some kind of, um, like, either the hexed town or the orphans or something. There's always something that's a result of that war. All right, I'm about to go look up a guide to find out where this these last children are. All right, so apparently one of the kids is already in the orphanage. Just need to go and find him in there. Is that you? No. Oh, God. <laughs> One child missing. Of course, that's where he went. So, uh, Chino went into the damn hex-filled uh, hellhole beneath the city. And I gotta go down there and get him. But, of course, um, we're at the 17, 18-minute mark, so that's not gonna be in this episode. So, next one, I'll go down there and I'll pick up that little bastard. Thanks for watching.